Yeah. Oh, it's a lovely rainy, windy day today. I am dressed in my go-to jumpsuit and um, jumper because then I can wear my long whistles coat and keep myself nice and dry because we've got a fun morning slash afternoon ahead of us and we're not going to let this rain ruin it. <laughs> But it's probably not going to be fun getting about today. I've left Delilah upstairs playing train last I make us some breakfast. I can finally put the wreath up today because at about 9 o'clock last night, the hooks I ordered from Amazon, they're still on the doorstep actually, were finally delivered. So I can pop this up. I had um, an, accident, an accidental bouquet sent to me from a subscription that I forgot to cancel. And as you can see here, I've just added a few bits. So I've added these, um, these lovely bluey purple thistles and then we've also got the big dried out thistles that I added yesterday at the class but I just really like the colour that these ones give and then I added some eucalyptus because I remembered last year we had eucalyptus in our wreaths and I just really love what it looks like so I've got some more here to add later yes Bubba you broke it oh hello <laughs> You broke it. I'm sure you didn't break it, damn it. I'll fix it. I just need to put this back on. There we go. Fixed it. Yay. Yes. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, I need to find a home for these Epsom salts. There's nowhere for them in our bathroom. Gonna pop Delilah in this little R kit number we got the other day i've been this sounds really lame but i've been waiting putting her in it because i've been wanting to take a photo for instagram so it'd make a really cute photo it would make a really sweet photo hung up here but we don't have a hanger yet i don't know when we're gonna get one up there i'm not even gonna try and cover up this mess in the kitchen it is what it is <laughs> these little hair bands. Got our new t-shirt on today. It's, it's a bit big but it is in the size two to four years so I expected it to be a bit bigger on hair so I've just rolled the sleeves up and something I noticed that's quite useful in this cardigan. I'm so jealous of this cardigan. Snack. It's lovely. Snack. You've just had breakfast. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Oh we'll get an apple in town. <laughs> you to do that anyway as i was saying um in this cardigan which i'm very jealous of because it's just lovely i noticed that there's a name tag so you can put a name and a year group so if she ever wore this to school if there was an own clothes day i can put her name so we don't lose it i'm gonna risk not taking the pram into town today we're just gonna walk and get the bus i may regret that later but we are going to the launch of a new cafe that's opened in our town, which I'm really looking forward to. You look so doody, Delilah. Yeah, anyway, we got invited. There's a new cafe that's opening in our town called Baby Chino. And I thought, probably not best that I take the pram. It's just going to get in the way. So I'm going to risk not taking the pram, even though we need to also get to the doctors for Delilah's flu. It's not a flu jab, it's a flu nose sprays and then we've got to get to this launch and it is chucking it down but i'm sure we'll be fine look how grown up she looks and also yes for all of you who have been saying delilah's messy bun is hair goals and you're super jealous of her messy bun capabilities i am too <laughs> daily I look at her and I think, why can't my hair sit like that in a messy bun? Mine's just this like big block of hair. I'm gonna get the rest of our bags together, get our shoes on. No pickies. Okay. Ooh, rainy, rainy. Let mummy find her umbrella. Let's get inside. Run, run. It's so rainy. having a bit of lunch aren't we? Can we see the doctor? Been to monkey music, been to the doctors, doctors went 
absolutely fine. And now we're waiting for a bus to head to the bottom of town to go to the uh, to go to this new cafe, which I'm really looking forward to. I could do with a sit down, a coffee, and a cake. We've just been running around in the rain. We've just taken cover underneath one of the shop fronts because we're about 20 minutes late so we're just hanging here looking at the pretty Christmas lights. This is one of my favourite areas of town. Just so quaint and festive this time of year. Right you, should we see if they let us in a little bit early? Yeah? Come on then, let's go. Rainy, rainy. Christmas lights, yeah. Very pretty, aren't they? This is the new cafe that's opened. I don't know if they let us in yet. Hello. Oh, yeah. Sorry, we're a little bit early. No, that's all right, come on in. We are one of two other people that are here early. Do you want to go do some drawing? Yeah. I think I'm going to stick some eyes on mine. I've got some eye stickers as well. Oh, they're always the winner. Can we stick them on our cup? Well done. A yellow one. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're going to stick it. On the O. Oh, Let's have a look downstairs, shall we? Oh, sweet. So they've got loads of toys downstairs. Loads of books as well. Lila and I have our coffees. She's got her little baby Chino. And I've got a cappuccino. She is loving all the toys over there. We're going to choose some cake to have, aren't we? You want the, you want the chocolate? Mummies. Mummies. Oh, I'm having chocolate. I think I might have the glorious bunch. I've got some cake and um, I'm not sure how this has happened but Delilah's decided that she now wants my one so I'm now stuck with the chocolate. Cheers! She just realised there's a, an ice cream stand over there and she ran over. She's very excited about that. What have you got there, Baba? You're <laughs> walking very carefully. Thank you so much. Do I get chocolate? Thank you very much for coming today. Did you like the toys? Were they good? Thank you so much for coming. No, thank you for having us. It's just a little bit of snow. Come Leave you at the right time. There's no rain. Oh, I know, lovely sun. Sunshine. <laughs> anyway, have a good Bye. weekend. You too. Bye. -bye. Just like that, the sun has come out and the rain has stopped, but it's still a bit windy. <laughs> We're heading home now. Hello. Okay. Oh, hi. Yeah. Waving to everyone getting on the bus. There's no one in. We use our keys. Got some letters. Lila down for a nap. Quite a lot to cram into an hour, so I'm just gonna see how much I can do. As you can probably see, the sun's come out. It's a beautiful day now, and it's gonna be dark in about an hour. I realised we were out the house for over four hours. That's quite a lot of time with a toddler and no pram. Um, Delilah did really well though. No, no tantrums. Um, it's it's hard work sometimes when they're walking on their own because you. They get distracted by everything and you spend a lot of your time going come on come on come on and there was a lot of carrying especially when it was raining i know it seems silly because i'm not saying it was a hard day i'm not asking for you guys to feel sorry for me it was a lovely morning but it is hard work um with a with a toddler when you're trying to carry them and they're about two and a half stone i'm gonna figure out how to get this on the door i've just been adding a final few bits of eucalyptus I think I may have gotten that pretty much perfect first time round. I am just going to 
tie it properly. Fingers crossed it stays in place. <laughs> Just uh, stuck this uh, command hook on. It's the medium one, the, the one with the picture of the wreath. But I've done it, oh it's really cold and I've fogged up. <laughs> but I've done it upside down because it's meant for actually hooking the wreath on but I thought it would look better if I used a ribbon. So I put it upside down and on the back of the door and then put the ribbon over. Let's see if I can sort this out and actually shut the door. I don't think that's too shabby. I've done a bow at the top just to make it a little bit nicer from the inside but it's quite discreet. I like that. Perfectly central with the knocker. So it looks quite good, I think. Sorry, I'll go into another room because I'm in the hallway, so I'm whispering. <laughs> Had a delivery. I didn't notice it had come, but because I was faffing around with the door, the guy probably just thought, oh, I'll just leave it on the doorstep. <laughs> Open the door to go look at the wreath. And this was on the doorstep. This is, let me sit down. This is a mirror I bought in the Black Friday sale. Thought it would look really nice in our bedroom, be it just um, lent up against the chest of drawers or hung up on the wall in the future. I saw this on Instagram and I really liked the look of it and I thought, yeah, let's do it. Because uh, my Ikea one is falling apart. So I think I'll probably try and fix that and then give it to the charity shop. I know it's probably not everyone's cup of tea, but I thought it was, um, I thought it was lovely. This isn't something I'd usually go for, but um, I just really took a liking to it when I saw it. Not much more to say about that. I can link it. It's from um, the same brand that we got Delilah's chest of drawers and wardrobe from. Um, I can never, I don't know how it's pronounced. It will probably be full price. Although actually saying that, that kind of, the brand, I've never bought anything full price from that company, so if, it, so if it is full price, I'd wait and wait for there to be a sale, because I've, um, I've never bought anything full price from there, even our bedside tables were 40% off from there. But yeah, I quite like the brand, it's a bit hit and miss delivery wise, sometimes you get stuff straight away, sometimes there's a delay and you can wait weeks, if not, I think we waited months for our bedside table. I'm gonna go put this upstairs and then I'm gonna have a tidy up of the kitchen, put a load of washing on and then do some editing. Look at the lovely light coming through the window there. Oh, I love it. This is still a bit of a transitional area and as you can see I've not even taken my favourite print out of the bubble wrap yet because I don't know where I'm gonna hang it. It might look quite nice in the kitchen actually. Although I kind of want some really funky prints in the kitchen. That is another time, another vlog. <laughs> go get Delilah up. I thought it made sense that I started dinner so that it's just done for us later. All week I've been planning on making um, this Thai curry that I found in this autumn winter veg uh, cookbook from Riverford. But you know how it is, it gets to the end of the day and you think, oh, I just don't have any more beans to do anything else. But I can't remember the last time I cooked properly and if you've been watching this channel for a while you know that I love cooking. Which one is it? There we go. I am making this curry. If they have it on their website, I can link it. I mean, unless you just want to screenshot the page there, screenshot it there, if you really want to um, make it and it's not in the description. And then these are some variants you can do um, to make it a bit quicker. herbs. I mean it, it, it pains me that all of these are in packets. I mean even the ginger for things like. We've got some Thai basil, so we've got some lime leaves, lemongrass, ginger, got a butternut squash. This recipe serves four. I'm gonna half it and make it for two so I'm probably gonna half this and butternut squash and everything else. Just because one, I've never made it before, so if I don't like it, I'm not, I'm not gonna want any more. But two, we don't have any room in our freezer. We are on the hunt for a second hand, cheap 
freezer with a few drawers that we can put in the outhouse i'll be able to do all the bulk cooking i want and um yeah i'm gonna be I'm going to be a very happy bunny. I'm going to have a good old time with that. But until then, I have to be careful. But usually, um, I would make way more of something like a curry and they freeze so well. Okay, cool. We now need garlic. We need chilli. We need shallots. I'm a little bit annoyed I forgot the coriander. But we'll try and make do. I feel like that's a really crucial part of the curry. I have some coriander seeds in here. Where are they? I am going to pop in some of these instead and I know it won't be as fresh and lovely but it will still give a little bit of flavour. did I peel the shallots first oh my goodness these are gonna go into my food processor you could do this in a pestle and mortar but it's much easier if you've got one of these it's really gonna need cori fresh coriander but it's just I don't have any it's in here. oh by the way we've got uh, we've got garlic we've got shallots we've got lemongrass lime leaves nice old chunk of ginger and some green chilli. Oh, I might. It says to use two for four people. So obviously I've halved it. And I was going to do one. And I might just do a quarter. Because I just really, I really don't like spicy food. Let's get this wisdom. And I'm going to go get the lighter up now. <laughs> do you guys have a nice nap? There it is, my favourite view, as you guys know already. But it's been really overcast this week, so I've not seen this lovely view for a while. Do you want to come see the wreath? You ready? It's gonna be on the. It's gonna be on the door up there. Can you see it? Is that amazing? Yeah. We're just having car doors and watching CPBs, as you can hear. And I'm trying not to fall asleep. <laughs> my mum's just called me and um, she's gonna pop round in a bit. I'm gonna catch up with her whilst I finish off doing dinner, get dinner on for this one. Update on dinner, Dog's gonna be home at six, which is in about 15 minutes time. So I said, oh, I haven't started cooking the actual curry yet. I need to still roast the butternut squash, so can you pick up some coriander? So um, yeah, I'm gonna shove some fresh coriander in for good measure. <laughs> It's been a couple of hours. I can't remember the last thing I vlogged. Dinner is pretty much oh, having deja vu. That strange. Dinner is done. I'm hoping it's good. It looks interesting, but it certainly smells like a proper Thai curry, which is which is cool. Actually, I've never actually made um, Thai curry before. Unless it's just out of a jar. My go-tos are always, um, well mainly, just mainly lentil dal. And the occasional different Indian curry. But for someone who loves Thai food, I bet I rarely make it. Um, so yeah, that's all done. My mum and dad go upstairs, giving Delilah her bath. And I've just run down here to put some rice on. I cleaned the kitchen earlier and now it's a mess again. Gonna have to have another little tidy up. Um, when I put Delilah to bed, I'm gonna get Doug to chop up and wash this very sad looking um rainbow chard shard chard what <laughs> are you gonna say nana oh sorry <laughs> sorry sorry <laughs> night 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 guys have you had a lovely day have you had a lovely day day yeah okay bye 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 I did have a little taste of the curry and it actually tastes like green green Thai curry so hopefully it will be yummy I have been waiting to have these all week I can't believe these have actually <laughs> stayed uneaten in the fridge for a few days I took my jumper off because uh, 
just you know like when you get irritated with clothing when you've had it on for a long time i took my ring off i took my jumper off and now i'm just being very silly it's very low cut so i wrapped it around dinner was actually really good like really tasty it tasted like a proper 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 thai curry definitely gonna make it again and i even think maybe make a batch of just the paste even freeze it in um and freeze it in portions and then lunches when i'm here in the week by myself if i've got any vegetables that need using up um i can just whack it all in with the curry paste and make my own very quick thai curry yeah it was really really good anyway i'm gonna have this now I have been crying again at This Is Us. We're getting really close to the end of the first season. As you can imagine, it's getting a bit emotional. I mean, saying that I cry at every episode of any series or anything we ever watch. As you can probably guess, I'm getting ready for bed. I'm actually going to try out a new skincare product. Well, mainly this one, but I thought I'd get this and give it a go because my clean and stubborn cleanser is pretty much gone so i thought while well, i'm in the market for another cleanser like this has done me well the last i think this is my third bottle i thought i might as well try something try something different see if it helps more see if i prefer it i'm gonna go to bed now and we're going to get to our christmas tree tomorrow which will be the next vlogmas that will go up in a couple of days i can't believe we've got two weeks until christmas what the hell i don't quite feel in the christmas spirit i feel good and cheery just i don't know it's not hit me that it's christmas anyway i will see you in the next vlogmas